Hey guys, it's Extra Time Force 101 here, and today we're going to be installing iOS 5 Beta 6. So yeah, a few days ago, Apple released iOS 5 Beta 6 to developers, and um, all the other people who aren't developers want to get their hands on iOS 5 Beta 6. All you have to do is follow our guide. So, so far, devices supported are the iPod, iPod Touch 3G, 4G, iPhone 3GS, Old But ROM, New But ROM, and iPhone 4 and iPad 1, not iPad 2, because jailbreak isn't compatible with that. Alright. So first of all, we're going to need to get iTunes 5 Beta 6. So, sorry, 10.5 Beta 6. And that's at imodzonedl.com Links in the description, of course. I'm just going to head over to there and you're going to download the iTunes for your computer. 64 bit Windows, which is normal Windows, and Mac OS X. Um, Mac OS X 10.6 and upwards. You can either download it as a file or a torrent. Um, direct downloads aren't working very well. You're getting weedy 100 KB a second download speed, so I'd go for a torrent. You're also going to get the iOS 5 bit 6 firmware for your device. So we have the Apple TV 2, oh sorry, yes, Apple TV is supported as well. Um, iPad 2s are listed here, but they cannot be jailbroken, so unless you're a developer, you can't install I, um, iOS 5 beta 6. Yep, I, iPad, iPhone, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4, and iPod Touch 3. Well, too far out. And, okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to download our iTunes, and we're going to extract it, and you're going to install it. It's just a thing, it will replace your existing iTunes and it will keep your backups, don't worry. So, I'm just going to go and run iTunes. And get that up. First time I've launched it. So, you'll get a license agreement. Just agree to that. Great, so what you need to do is you're going to click on your device, make sure it's attached via USB. And now we're going to go and download our firmware. So, I'm on the iPod Touch 4, so you're just going to hit download torrent. If you want to download it via torrent, you'll have to head over to BitTorrent and download that. Okay, so second thing we're going to third thing we're going to need is going to be Snowbreeze. Snowbreeze is our custom firmware creator. It will allow us to restore our iPod touch here to a hacked beta 6 firmware. So you're just going to hit regular download and you have to wait 15 seconds for a hot file. Unless you have a high speed download account, which of course no one does. So after downloading Snowbreeze, just unzip that and put it on your desktop. Here we go, Snowbreeze. So we're just going to close iTunes. Sorry, I don't know why I opened that earlier. So Snowbreeze, right click, run as administrator. Okay, so I'll zoom in a bit further for this because it's easier to read. Get past the license agreements, close credits. So this is t version 2.8 beta 6 for iOS 5.0 beta 6, which is what we want. It's intended only for developers. If you're not a developer, I wouldn't recommend doing this. I'm just giving you the guide. And this is a tethered jailbreak via iBooty. Not, um, it's like it's like a tethered jailbreak for everything. And if you're an old boot ROM 3GS user, then you can get an untethered jailbreak on iOS 5, which is some quite a feat. Um, yeah, you can check if you're on iOS 5. If you're an old boot ROM, go to I Hate Snow's web's website, and there's a program there about how to do that. So what you're just gonna do is you're gonna hit next, and you browse for your firmware. Save it to the desktop, the easiest place to find it, and open it. Yep, so as I said before, just remember this is only intended for developers. If you're not a developer, I would not recommend doing this because none, not many of people's tweaks work due to some changes in mobile substrate and some changes in Apple's core services and stuff so they're not going to work as well as they would normally so after it's identified your firmware we're just going to hit next 
I'm going to do expert mode, general, next. So what we're going to get, what we're going to do here is we're going to enable battery percentage if you want. Remove UDID beta timer. You have to do that. That is absolutely a hundred percent necessary. If you do not do that, um, it's just like having a jailbreak in firmware if you're a developer. So what you're going to do is you're going to check install SSH. Make sure you do that. That's necessary for most stuff. And you can set your root partition size. Whoa, sorry. Whoa, sorry about the camera today. Set your root partition size to maybe 100, 1, 1500 megabytes, quite good. That's like the maximum. So just set it to that. If you want, if you've got any custom packages you'd like to install, just do that. If not, hit next. Build IPSW. Custom bootloaders are available. And if you're an iPhone user, you'd get unlocks as well. But we don't want that, so just hit next. And okay, you're just gonna hit no thanks to the spinner. Or if what, you can play a cheeky game of Pac-Man. And um, just gonna wait while the IPSW is created. Okay, so after that's that after that's done, we're just gonna hit OK. Oh wait, but before we do that, you have noticed you've got two new files on your desktop. Well, you should have one of them will be called Whoa, what's wrong with this camera today? I booty for 5.0 beta 6, and you'll have your Snowbreeze firmware. So we're just gonna go back to Snowbreeze, and I'm just gonna hit OK. You're gonna get your iPod up, or your, or your iPhone, or your iPad, or your other technical device. You're gonna slide the power off. Sorry, because I'm on the beta 5s, so it'll take a while to turn off already. Oh, yeah, and oh, by the way, you can upgrade from any firmware. You can upgrade from being on 1.0. Well, if, you're, if it was technically possible to be on iOS 1.0, yes, you could upgrade from being on iOS 1.0. To 5 .0 beta 6. Also, you could also do it over the air from iOS 5 beta 5, but you would have to be not jailbroken, which sucks. So, we're good. So, now start. Prepare to press power plus home. Home button, power button. You guys know the drill. Release and keep pulling the home button. Okay, and your device should now be in a pwned DFU state blank screen. Um, you can now launch iTunes and do. Okay, iTunes has done it itself for us. Thank you very much, iTunes. Just gonna close Snow Breeze. Okay, so what we're now gonna do. As we're going to hold down the shift button, which is on the left of your computer, and it's the alt button for Mac users. In fact, that isn't very helpful at all because Mac users can't do this. I'm just going to hit restore, and it should have a dialog box asking you where your firmware is. Go down, and we're going to choose the one that says Snow Breeze. Not the original firmware, it's Snow Breeze, okay? And it's clearly labeled Snow Breeze, so you can't get them mixed up. Open, and restore. iTunes should then, oh, it's a matter of Ajin should begin the process of jailbreaking your device for you without even knowing it. So, yep, so you'll be jailbroken on an iOS 5 beta 6 at the end of this, so just skip ahead to that, shall we? Okay, our iPod has finished restoring and it's now rebooting. It's going to show up in the iTunes window in a second. Okay, so that entire process took about um, five minutes after I turned the camera off. So, on initial setup, it will run its progress bar thing. No idea, I still have no idea what it does then. So access the iTunes store and it's gonna activate it. Um I at the moment I'm just going to set this up as a new iPod to avoid any errors. And don't worry if you don't see the picture. That's not too bad. It does that sometimes. Okay, so we're syncing and another cool thing. Syncing that little turn thing. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna slide to configure. Um. Wow. Skip to the end. Enable location services. Next. Um. I don't have a Wi-Fi network, so I'm just gonna continue. Um. Don't send. 
start. Ta-da! Let me just turn the brightness on this thing. Here we go, that's much better. Okay, so we're in iOS 5 beta 5, everything works. Notification center, woo, okay. Cydia, pre-installed. Awesome, Cydia's not gonna work. You're gonna tap on it and it's just gonna flash out. So what you need to do, I'm gonna close iTunes. I'm gonna open up iBooty, which was on your desktop from earlier. Double tap, right click, run as admin. And yes. This message would be dis dis dismissed in five seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, because there's been loads of people who've been like trying to steal this code and sell it for like money. Because that's what they do. And it hasn't worked so far. So, what we're going to do, select your device, it'll automatically know what it is. Going to hit start, prepare to press. It's the same procedure as before. Home button, power button. Three, two, one. Release and keep holding the home button. Exploiting with Lime Rain. Waiting for device. Don't worry, iTunes will should pop up. You can just release your home button. And I booty is done. That's just that's what you have to do to boot your device into a tethered state every time. Much faster than Red Snow, which doesn't involve you selecting the firmware every time. So yeah, I definitely prefer I booty. I I booty to <laughs> um as Dino D7 noted before, it sounds like a dodgy strip club, so um yep, that's it. Um it'll boot into a jailbroken state and you can run Cydia and everything you could before. Alright guys, that was how to jailbreak and install iOS 5 beta 6 without a registered UDID or a dev account. Um, again, if you have any problems or you need some support, just um, <laughs> support. Oh, I'm sick. Just leave that in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you own an Android device, um, go and check out my how to root the HD's Desire S videos because that's like one of the only ones on YouTube at the moment. Let's go check them out. Um, make sure to follow me on Twitter somewhere. Bing. And make sure to follow me on follow me, friend me, or visit me on Facebook. Bing on here. Alright guys, thanks for watching.